Okay guys, so welcome back to the shed and this is part three of the trilogy. Um, I may make one more just a kind of a all-encompassing the pros and cons of the system. Not a lot of cons, but there's some little glitches here and there that slowly I'm working out um, and that um, hopefully Ren and G will help me on some of those things and answer some questions. But for part three today, we're going to go over the uh, Renogy One portal um, that's on the computer, and it, of course, connects with the uh, Renogy Core One via Wi-Fi, and it's just a different way to look at the information, and it gives you a little bit of information um, in a different way. Kind of the same info, though, to be honest with you. Um, it does entail a subscription with Renogy of... It was like three bucks a month or 30 bucks for the year, something like that. I Something I could definitely live without, but I'm like, let's see what it's all about, at least for a year. Um, anywho, um, let's check it out, you guys, and I'll give you the run through. And of course, if you have any questions, please ask down below in the comments and I will reply. I promise you that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're going to jump over here to the Renogy One portal, <coughs> which as a subscription holder, you can find this online. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of a geek, so I like to kind of check things out. But you can see where up here we've got like, you know, what the solar panels coming in. And then down here we have our uh, Renogy um, Rover 60 amp controller and what it's doing. Nothing right now because it's nighttime. Unknown battery. I'm not going to give up my battery name here because uh, I'm obviously talking about Renogy. Um, and then over here, we've got, you know, it just you can follow the line here. You can see how it uh, follows a path of direction through the inverter and then into the AC load output. Right now, it is at 290 watts, according to the computer. Things seem to vary from <laughs> one component to the other. I don't know which one's the most accurate. I'm also charging things right now. And as things charge, the wattage uses tends to go up and down, as we all know. Now, the one thing I'll say about this, and I brought this up with Renogy, is like, um, sure would be nice if I could see the smart shut on there. Um, give me a little bit more information. But they said they're working on it, and hopefully they'll get around to getting her done, and we can check some stuff out. So... If we come down here and we click on that, it just gives a basic overview. Um, nothing I'm really using a whole bunch. Um, I like to come over here on occasion and we can run through it. It kind of shows the devices um, and what devices I've got going on. Now, listen, if it's a little bit blurry, I am still learning how to do content. I'm not the best cameraman. I bought a GoPro. It wasn't working out for me. I'm back to using my old cell phone, which seems to be kind of one of the better things I've got for working on stuff, actually, or looking at it, video recording, whatever you want to call it. So right now it's looking at my inverter, 13.55%, um, 271 watts is what it's saying on the computer. Um, you come on over here, you've got solar coming in. We're at our 3.7 that we talked about before. Um, got a lot of the same data over here, right? Um, over here, it'll tell me what my controller settings are, but I can't set it from here. Um, kind of wish I could. It would be kind of fun if I could do that. So, Renogy, if you are listening, um, you know, it'd be cool to have the smart shun on here and even be able to set the controller settings and whatnot from the computer. Um, but you know what? It's not a deal breaker for me. I am really happy with the system right now. Again, we can come down here. We can check our uh, solar yield history and our forecast um, and what's been performing with this Renogy controller Rover 60 amp, okay? Um, all of the darker green through here is, um, you know, the past history. And then over here in the lighter green, that is the upcoming forecast. And that varies on a variety of things. Um, they, I believe that Renogy probably goes off of uh, whatever weather forecasting system, whether it be Google or whatever. They were all wrong today, said it was blue skies out. And no, it was cloudy. 
all day long. I barely pulled in any watts, barely charged my batteries up, but maybe 5%. Um, but that's okay. You know, that's kind of the way it goes. Um, so that's kind of the quick rundown of, oh, we click over here, we get a different one. See, we're learning stuff all the time. So I clicked on the uh, Renogy controller, total running days, 51 days I've been running this particular controller, okay? Um, I've generated 40.82 kilowatts and I've consumed about 9.82 kilowatts. Seems like I should be ahead of the game, but with me shutting this on and off and tweaking things and adding panels and stuff like that, definitely the numbers are kind of skewed. That's going to average out over time. Really curious to see what it's got to say here. Now, we can go along, like back on November 27th, I pulled in 2370 uh, watt hours, you know, and had some really good days come up to yesterday on the 16th. Um, look, we're looking at 399 watt hours is what I pulled in. Not a whole bunch, but that's what we can do on a cloudy day. And sometimes on these sunny days, it will tell you that you only pulled in, say, 400 watt hours. But then that's when my batteries peak out. They charge up. I didn't use much the day before or throughout the night. And it doesn't take much to charge them. And that may be the case for that. I don't remember what the weather was like yesterday. But I tell you, if I only run my outdoor lights and I run them for 10 hours, I'm pulling about 400 watts. So that would actually add up. Now... That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good forecast. I really like this system. Um, we're going to do a quick overview here in a moment. And again, I really thank you guys for tuning in and checking out what I do. We got more stuff coming up and more projects, um, not only with Renogy and more tests with Renogy, but we've got some other brands I'm going to test out also. Okay, so stay tuned, my friends. Okay. There it is, folks. That's the uh, Renogy One portal on the computer, um, part three of the trilogy here. And you can see that it um, covers kind of everything the Renogy Core One and the DC Home app does, but you can't set the parameters. Um, also, you can't see the smart shunt on the um, Renogy One portal. I chatted with uh, Renogy themselves. They said they're working on that problem and they're hoping to have an update in the future to help us out with, with that. For me, it's not a deal breaker. It's still nice to have when, when I'm out in the shed and I got my computer on, I can just kind of check in. Um, I'm kind of a geek like that. I really like to know what's going on at all times. I'll look out at the sun and the clouds and everything else um, and kind of see what's going on and get a good feel for the system. Because I want you to remember, I just started doing this a few months ago. You can do it too. I promise you that. You just got to have patience and persistence and watch the educational videos. You're always free to check in with me if you have a question. Um, specifically, if it's with Renogy, I'm getting really familiar with their system now and really good at problem solving different things that can come up. So again, thanks for checking in, you guys. I appreciate you all and see you in the next video.